Here we are going to divide y to the third power minus 6 over y plus 2. As we can see, we have two terms on the bottom, namely y plus 2. Therefore, we have to use the long division for this. But then also because we just have the 1 in front of the y, so we can actually use the synthetic division in this case as well. But I'm going to show you guys both in this video. Let me begin by showing you guys the long division first. So I'm going to draw my long division symbol right here, and I'm going to put in the top inside. Well, as we can see, we have y to a third power. But then, do we have any y square? We don't have any y square on the top, right? However, when we set up a long division, we must have all the powers of y. So I'm going to purposely write it down as plus zero y square. And this is kind of like the place value that kind of thing. We must have all the powers of y inside. So that way, when we subtract later on, everything will be organized. Also, do we have any y? No, right? So I'm going to put down plus 0y. And at the end, we have the minus 6. And this right here will be the proper setup for the top inside of the long division symbol. And then the y plus 2 will be on the outside like this. OK, so we are going to go ahead and divide. And to do that, we're just going to um, pay attention to the first term right here and also the first term right here. And then ask ourselves, what times y will give us y to a third power? This is y to a first, and altogether we need to produce y to a third power, so I need two more. So I need to have y squared. And I'm going to line up with the y squared right here, and let me just erase my circles. And I'm going to put down, we need to have y squared. And after we figure out what we need, we are just going to go ahead and take this and multiply with y, and that will give us exactly the y to a third power that we need and also take the y square times the plus 2. And don't forget to do this step. We must take the y square times the plus 2. And that will give us 2y square. So let me put it down right here, plus 2y square. And as you can see, all the y square should be lined up. This right here will be really organized. And when wherever we are doing the long division, we're going to subtract, right? And in this case, we're just going to put in the subtraction symbol and then also put a parenthesis around this. Because first we see that y to a third power minus y to a third power is 0, that's good. But then right here, we see that 0 minus 2, that will be negative 2, and then that's a y squared. So you see that because we need to distribute the sign side, so make sure you put a negative and then the parentheses like this. And just when you work out the subtraction, do it really, really carefully. You should just work out number 0 minus positive 2, that's negative 2, and then you put on the term, which is the y squared term. OK, and then we are going to bring the next thing, which is a plus 0y. And then we are going to compare the first term with this first term. What times y will give us negative 2y squared? Well, I need to have negative 2 times the 1, which will give us the negative 2. And this is y to the first. I need to get x to the second, so I need to have another y. So I need to have a total of negative 2y. So let me put that down right here now. I'm going to have minus 2y. And then I'm going to take this negative 2y times y. That will be negative 2y squared. That's great because this and that should always match. Otherwise, something's wrong. And then we'll take this. And don't forget, we'll take this and multiply with positive 2. Negative 2 times positive 2, that will be negative 4. And y times this is just y, so like this. And once again, we'll put subtraction and then the parentheses because we have to distribute the sign inside. Do this carefully. Negative 2 y squared minus negative 2 y squared, they cancel out. That's great. Here we have 0 minus minus 4, right? So 0 minus negative 4 becomes 0 plus 4. So we have positive 4 right here, and this is the y term. Once again, do this carefully. This is 0 minus negative 4, so that's 0 plus 4, so that's positive 4, y. And then we'll put down the minus 6. And we once again compare the first terms. Well, here we have y. What times y will give us 4y? And this is a positive 4y. Therefore, we need to have a plus 4. So I'm going to put down positive 4 right here. 
positive 4 times y, that will give us exactly positive 4y, and then 4 times 2, that's plus 8. And then I'm just going to subtract it, and then the parentheses, 4y minus 4y, that's 0. And then do this carefully, negative 6 minus positive 8. So negative 6 minus 8, that's negative 14. And as you can see, we are done with the long division process, and this is how we are going to write down the answer. So the answer to this right here will be, we first write down the quotient, which is this part, y to the second power minus 2y plus 4. And in this case, we have remainder. So we are going to put down, depending on the sign, this is minus, so I'm going to put down minus 14 on the top, and then over the original denominator, which is the y plus 2. So this right here will be the answer for this question, which is a long division process. And now let me show you guys a synthetic division, aka the short division. You guys may like this better. But then, once again, we can only do this for whenever we have like a 1 in front of the variable on the denominator. Anyways, this is how it goes. So we'll begin by drawing like a box like this first. And then I'm going to look at the numerator, and I'm going to put down just the coefficients. So as you can see, we have 1 in front of the y to the third power, so I'm going to put down 1. And do we have any y square? We don't. I'm going to put down 0. And do we have any y? Once again, we don't. So I'm going to put down 0. At the end, we have the negative 6. So we'll put down negative 6. So this right here is just a coefficient of the numerator, the top. And as you can see, this is identical with this. 1, 0, 0, negative 6. But then I'm not writing down the variables. But we have to remember this means 1y to a third power plus 0y squared plus 0y minus 6. Okay? And this is how we are going to continue. We look at what's the denominator, which we know is y plus 2, right? And how can you make this equal to 0? Well, that means y is equal to negative 2. So I'm going to put down negative 2 right here. And this right here will be the setup for the synthetic division. And this is how we continue. First, we bring down the 1. Okay, just bring down the 1 right here. And then, we take the negative 2, multiply with 1, and put it here. Negative 2 times 1, that's negative 2. And then in the synthetic division situation, we are going to add these two numbers together. So, 0 minus 2. Right, 0 combined with negative 2, we get negative 2. And we'll just repeat the same process. We'll take this negative 2 now, multiply with this negative 2, and put it right here. Negative 2 times negative 2, that will give us positive 4. And once again, we are going to add in the synthetic division process. 0 plus 4 is 4, that's great. And then we have one more step. Negative 2 will multiply with positive 4, and put it here, negative 2 times 4, that will give us negative 8. And then, as we can see when we combine these two, when we add them up, negative 6 plus negative 8, that will give us negative 14. So this is it, but now we have to know how to read the answer from here. Well, as I mentioned earlier, this is the original numerator, right, the top right here. And we begin by saying this is 1y to the third power. And when we have the answer, which you are going to read it from here, we are going to have one power less. So this one means we have one y squared, and this is the y term, and this is the no y term, and this is the remainder. Okay, this right here is the remainder. Let me just label this for you guys. And as you can see, this match with our remainder here, and one, negative two, and four, in fact, the coefficient of our answer earlier as well. But let me just put this down nicely for you guys. I'm going to write this down as y squared, because it's one y squared, so it's just y squared, minus 2y, and this is a positive 4, so plus 4. And then the remainder is the last number that we have in here. So we have minus 14, minus 14 over the original denominator, which is the y plus 2. And this is how you read the answer from the synthetic division process, aka the short division. So 
uh, depending which one you like better. Of course, I think you guys will like this one, right? Anyways, that's it.